Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best duets in film musicals. So you agree? That's right. What a waste of a lovely night. Suddenly see more. Suddenly see more. If you're afraid, you fight you. If I loved you, time and again I would try to. For this list, we'll be looking at duets from live-action movie musicals, and excluding any animated films. Is your favorite duet on this list? Let us know in the comments! Number 10. Fit as a fiddle, singing in the rain. Fit as a fiddle, ready for love. I can jump over the moon up above. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. We're ready for love in this. Dance legends Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor star in this iconic, lighthearted movie, filled with classic musical and dance performances. This flashback scene features a duet between the two stars in snappy green checked suits as one of the first songs in the film. Soon the church bells will be ringing And I'll march with my mom How the church bells will be ringing With a hang nani nani and a ha-cha-cha The pair perform an impressive multitasking feat as they appear to sing, play the fiddle, and perform complicated choreography all at the same time. It's a spectacular musical number that showcases the outstanding talents of the film stars, even if the audience they're performing for doesn't seem to agree. Kelly and O'Connor are such a terrific duo, it would be hard for anyone else to compare in trying to recreate this fantastic number. Audiences everywhere adored us. Number 9. You're Timeless to Me, Hairspray. Styles keep a changing, the world's rearranging, but Edna, you're timeless to me. <laughs> All you need to know about this song is that it's a surprisingly romantic duet between Christopher Walken and John Travolta, which is absolutely iconic. Travolta plays protagonist Tracy Turnblad's mother, Edna, and Walken plays Tracy's father, Wilbur, with the two of them making up one of the best married couples in movie musical history. Glenn Miller had brass, chubby checkers like gas, but they all pass eventually. You'll never be passe, hip hooray, you're timeless to me. Wilbur's slightly misguided but still romantic attempts to convince his wife of his unconditional love for her is one of the sweetest and most memorable moments of the film. You're like a broken down Chevy, all I need is a fresh coat of paint. Their mutually reaffirmed love is so touching, you almost forget Edna's played by the same actor who played Danny in Greece. Well, I do not know. I mean, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe there's two of us, right? Which is a testament to Travolta's acting abilities. You're timeless to me. Number 8. Sisters, White Christmas. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Never had to have a chaperone, no sir. I'm here to keep my eye on her. This short and sweet duet between sisters Betty and Judy is a charming number about sibling rivalry that any real sisters watching can totally relate to. Their big blue 1950s dresses are absolutely classic, but the massive feathered fans really steal the show in this performance. Two different faces, but in tight places. We think and we act as one. Uh -huh. They even come back in the most hilarious way when protagonists Bob and Phil perform the duet as a reprise. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. Still, the original song with Rosemary Clooney and Vera Ellen is definitely the better of the two, and would make the perfect karaoke duet for two classic movie musical-loving sisters. And Lord help the sister 
Who comes between me and my man? Number seven, A Lovely Night, La La Land. The sun is nearly gone. The lights are turning on. Although City of Stars was the duet from this film that took home the Academy Award for Best Original Song, City of Stars never shined so brightly. A Lovely Night is a more underrated duet that showcases the incredible chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Their playful flirting transitions seamlessly into this charming musical number where we see the two unsuccessfully trying to deny their feelings for each other. And maybe this appeals to someone not in heels or to any girl who feels there's some chance the romance. The song's dance break is especially impressive considering neither Gosling nor Stone are typically featured as dancers, but they perform the simple yet captivating choreography like it comes naturally to them. This scene feels just like the old Hollywood musicals that inspired it, interrupted only by the shocking modernity of a cell phone ringing. Number 6. Take Me or Leave Me, Rent. Every single day I walk down the street I hear people say, baby, so sweet Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me The small core cast of Rent made for many different dynamic combinations within its various duets, from the power ballad between best friends Mark and Roger in What You Own, to the romantic duet with a devastating reprise, I'll Cover You. I think they meant it when they said you can't buy love. Now I know you can rent it, and you lease you are my love for life. The movie's best and most unique duet, however, has to be this breakup song between Joanne and Maureen. prompted by an argument caused when Maureen flirts with another woman at her own engagement party. This powerful song, featuring the amazing voices of Adina Menzel and Tracy Toms, is one of the most entertaining arguments ever seen on the big screen. Or leave me. Yes, I'm leaving. I'm gone. Number 5. Come What May, Moulin Rouge. Never knew. I could feel like this. This jukebox musical is filled with show-stopping covers of popular songs, but it's this original that lies at the romantic heart of the film. The forbidden romance between Christian and Satine imbues this song and allows the couple to declare their love for each other. Suddenly my life doesn't seem such a waste It all revolves around you. Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor were perfectly cast, and this number wonderfully showcases their wide range of talents, especially in the reprise. Come on, man. Interestingly, the song was originally written for another film with a tragic romance, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, which disqualified the song from consideration for a Best Original Song Oscar nomination. Come What May definitely deserved more recognition 20 years ago, and is still underrated today. I will love you until my time. Number 4, Tonight, West Side Story. Only you, you're the only thing I see forever in my eyes in my words and in everything i do this set in the 50s song is of course a take on the famous balcony scene from shakespeare's romeo and juliet maria and tony having met at a neighborhood dance are eager to set aside the fact that they're involved with two rival street gangs as they've essentially fallen in love at first sight 
Tonight, tonight, the world is wild and bright, going mad, shooting sparks into space. Their starry-eyed hopefulness is absolutely infectious. And the risk of being caught adds just the right amount of tension to make audiences feel exactly how the two lovers feel in this moment. It's a scene full of pure romance, and it only makes this film's trajectory even more heartbreaking. Number 3. Suddenly Seymour, Little Shop of Horrors Lift up your head, wash off your mascara Here take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away When shy and nerdy Seymour Krelborn comforts his co-worker and longtime crush, Audrey, after the mysterious disappearance of her sadistic boyfriend, the two admit their feelings for each other in this iconic duet. Sweet This feeling lasts till forever. Seymour finally has a chance to show Audrey he can be the kind of person she needs. And Audrey realizes she deserves someone who will treat her with the respect and kindness she's never truly received. Suddenly Seymour, Suddenly Seymour. Written by Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, the renowned Disney duo, this song was destined to be a classic from the beginning. Throw in an unconventional but sweet romance, and suddenly Seymour is not so suddenly an iconic fan favorite. Seymour's Number 2. Something Good, The Sound of Music Perhaps I had a wicked childhood Perhaps I had a miserable youth This quiet, reserved duet is actually filled to the brim with romance, even down to the lighting of the scene. While the most well-known duet from The Sound of Music is definitely Liesl and Rolf's 16 Going on 17 in the gazebo, I am 16 going on 17, innocent as a rose. Something Good is certainly the film's true love song. For here you are, standing there, loving me. Whether or not you should. Maria and Captain Von Trapp are lit from behind, so their faces are completely hidden by shadows, making the scene feel all the more intimate and romantic. Nothing ever could so somewhere in my youth. The song itself is short and simple, but the lyrics tell a beautiful love story and say so much about how the couple feel about each other. It's an underrated song from a classic musical, and the kiss they share after the song is absolutely magical. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Lay all your love on me, Mamma Mia. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, Mary Poppins. The biggest word you ever heard, and this is how we go. Oh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Gotta go my own way. High School Musical 2. Falling 
slowly, once. Take this minutes ago, Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. And I like it so well that for all I can tell, I may never come down again. I may never come down to earth again. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, you're the one that I want, Greece. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. This classic duet between John Travolta and Olivia Newton John as Danny and Sandy is one of the most iconic songs in movie musical history. But we do also love summer nights. The debuts her new rebellious look for Danny, who has been attempting to soften his own image a bit by trying to be more sporty. You better shape up. You better understand. To my heart, I must be true. Ultimately, though, this song proves that, although they show their commitment to each other by changing their appearances and actions, and Sandy has expectations, they do actually really love each other as their authentic selves. The song is also super fun, and the carnival setting makes for some really visually interesting choreography that pairs perfectly with the catchy vocals. agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.